Alright, uh, this is the uh, left front door regulator for a 70 Torino. Uh, it's a manual regulator. We're going to turn it into a power regulator. First thing we did was we cut the bracket across here and got rid of the manual mechanism. All this is gone. And then uh, we made this bracket here that's going to go bolted and welded on into this section here. Line up the holes. We drilled two extra holes here for more mounting area. The bracket will be welded on like that and then this piece here will come into play about right here and uh, it will have the motor bolted onto here and we'll show you later on on how it's all welded and bolted together. What I like here is that uh, we're going to put the two little uh, little balls on here, peen them in there it's like Ford had. You can see where the one has been scraping on it. It's not rocket science, but it just holds it and keeps the, the, the motor from slipping out of this track, keeps the gears lined up in here. Pretty basic, but it's important to put that on, and we'll show you that too. All right, uh, this is the regulator again. After we welded the bracket on there, bolted it up, welded two studs in it, uh, welded this brace across here in these sections here so the, the sheet metal wouldn't flex. And you can see the screws are down in here in the holes. And that's what screws the, the motor to the regulator. Here's the rest of the, the piece that we talked about earlier. It's welded onto here. And the, the drive goes into the little pocket through here, and that's what runs on the motor. And then of course, you had to weld up the regulator here permanently, right? Yeah. And for what reason? Uh, we changed the angle of the regulator. The regulator arm used to be all the way out here, this way, straight out. Uh, in order to put the power window motor in, in there, we had to move the, the regulator gearing down to the bottom of the door for clearance and this rotates this whole arm around and back to this position here. Pretty sweet. And you can see down in here, right in here how where that gear is and how that keeps that all aligned. It makes it right on that on that gear real nice. It keeps it from binding. We'll take a look at an operation on the other side that's already installed. And we got the door uh, wired up uh, just to kind of show you how the operation works and, uh, and kind of show you power it up. Comes down real quick and goes right back up quick. Just like that. And uh, you can see Got some bracing in there. You can see the access hole to get to it, as we showed you in the earlier video. So, now keep in mind now, on some cars, uh, there is no kit available, power window kit. So we had to uh, uh, build this and turn this power this car into a power window car to satisfy the customer. And uh, there wasn't a kit available, so um, there you have it.